So in this short video I'm going to show you how to wire a UK double socket. So these are some of the tools you're going to need to do the job. Here we've got some cable strippers, some pliers, side cutters and some electrical insulated screwdrivers. This is what a standard one looks like from the front and then to the rear. So this socket has three terminals, live, neutral and earth. Now the live is either red or brown and the neutral is either black or blue, depending on if your property was wired before 2006. And this will be green and yellow. Here we have two 2.5 twin and earth cables forming part of a ring final circuit on this temporary rig set up here on a plastic surface mounted back box. Here I'm going to show you how you take your side cutters as shown earlier, get the top of the cable just make a small cut in that. You want to this grey out of, is called the sheath. That is just extra protection from where the cable's in the wall against any nicks or chips. What you want to do is you want to reveal the three cables here. You've got the live, neutral, and the earth. With this earth, you want to take it out slightly, pull upwards. we get to the top and that will strip the sheath in for you automatically. Here again you've got your two cables here. And just careful when you do this just chop that sheath in off and then this can go in the bin. Same again for the next one. Snip down the middle, use your cutters to separate the cable so you've got the bare earth wire which will need to be sleeved in a minute. Use it and pull up. If you're finding it hard to do it with side cutters you can always use a pair of pliers like so might make it easier for some people that have never done this before. Again, same as what we just done, we're going to be taking the two conductors out of the outer sheath in. Strip it back and then this goes in the bin. So here we have the, the blue, which is the neutral conductors, or if you're on old cable colours will be the black. We have the brown which is the live or if you're using older cable colours will be red and then these two here are your earthing cables which are yet to be sleeved. We're just going to take our double socket now and just look at which side They are on, so as luck has it, the live is on this side and the neutral is on this side. And in fact the earth is actually there as well, so it makes it a little bit easier for us. With regards to leaving slack, you probably, probably don't want to leave too much, but you also don't want to leave too little as well, so this has only come with practice. Again, maybe half a hand's width, you want to just snip the excess away and throw those away. Now what we need to do is we need to now we just need to strip the cables as such. So we're going to take these strippers We're going to take these strippers I have here, 
They come in many different shapes and sizes. You can get fancy ones, non-fancy. And you're going to strip approximately a thumbnail's worth of that. Push lightly on the insulation and pull away. Same again for the neutral conductors. Again, we've got about a thumbnail switch there. Taking our electrical screwdriver, we're going to offer the socket up to the conductors. So we'll be placing the two neutral conductors into the neutral side. I'm just going to do a bit more of a close up for you. So we've got our sleeving that we prepared earlier. Some nice 4mm sleeving. You can use 3mm but obviously 4mm is a lot better in case you're using a bigger, a bigger cable in the future. You might as well just buy some 4mm. Again, you want to leave about a thumbnail's width of conductor showing, fold it over and just cut there. Push that up as far as you can. The same again with this one. Don't worry if you leave too much slack on the actual cable itself because you can always just snip that down anyway. Again we've got our earth conductor here, please just make sure you pay attention on the socket that you actually have because some sockets have the neutral on the other side and the live on that side as well so the live will be marked L and the neutral will be marked neutral. Some sockets are also colour coded as well just to make things a little bit more easier for those who have never done this before. So might have to just play with it a little bit one and two. I'm going to tighten that terminal up now. And it's all done. All that's left now is just to carefully push the conductors back. Obviously be careful that you're not nicking any of the conductors and then screw to the back box as so. Just to show you what the inside looks like on a close-up. So again we have our neutral conductor on this side and our live on this side and the other. It's all ready to go back in. We've got no conductors showing. We've pushed them back. We've just double checked that there's no loose connections. They're nice and tight. If you're using a metal back box make sure you use um, a rubber grommet um, just to stop the, the actual cable getting nicked. If that gets nicked then it's going to cause it to, um, to trip the MCB. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.